could you please give me these tablets? Experiencing adverse event after taking medication? Yes. Report the adverse event information to your doctor. Doctor, I am experiencing severe cough and fever after taking this medication. Thank you for reporting. I will inform the pharmacovigilance team. What is pharmacovigilance? Okay, let me explain. As per the World Health Organization, pharmacovigilance or PV is the science and activity to detect, assess, understand and prevent a medicine-related adverse event. As a part of the PV process, the detailed patient information is documented in a safety database in the form of an individual case safety report. Let us take a look at the ICSR processing steps in detail. The life cycle of the ICSR starts when a patient experiences an adverse event from a medicinal product. This adverse event information is then reported to the PV department. Via phone, fax, mails, literature, E2B or electronic transfers. This is the first step and is known as case receipt or bookend. These reports are shared by patients or consumers, doctors, pharmacists, nurses, medical representatives, or even relatives of the patient. The associates in the case receipt or book and team checks the source information for their completeness, validity, and legibility. The reporter is contacted if there is any missing information. The associate then conducts a duplicate search in the database to verify if the report is initial or a follow-up. Based on the duplicate search, the book and associate can create a new case ID or process the information as a follow-up to the existing case in the database. As per the guidelines, all ICSRs should be processed within the predefined timelines. Hence to ensure the timely processing of the ICSRs, all the reports are prioritized based on seriousness, expectedness and reported relatedness. For example, if an adverse event is fatal, unexpected and certainly related to the medicinal product, then it will be given high priority for processing. Once the triage is complete, the associates start the complete data entry of the case. The associates captures all the information from the source document and records it in the safety database. The information includes general case details, patient medical history, adverse event details, product details, narrative writing, lab details and so on. Once the data entry is complete, the associate can route the case to the quality review workflow. The quality review team checks the overall completeness and consistency of the case against the source document. Check the critical fields affecting reportability. And verifies the drug and medical coding processes. And then shares the report with the medical review team. During the medical review phase, the physician verifies the overall medical assessment and consistency of the narrative. Perform the company causality assessment. Validates the labeling assessment for the suspect product. Provide the medical assessment comments. and determine if any specific clinical information is required as part of follow-up activities. In the last step, the designated associates conduct a final QC and submit the ICSR to the internal and external parties, including the regulatory bodies, as per the applicable regulatory requirements and timelines. In this process, new safety-related insights are regularly added to the global safety database, the updated information is regularly shared with other stakeholders and regulatory authorities worldwide. If necessary, the package leaflets are updated, and, new information is made available to physicians and consumers. Because accurate and timely information is crucial for safe and effective drugs. Thank you for watching the video.